Hi folks, uh, my voice is still not the same, so I'm only going to be doing one video a week until I get my voice back to normal, but for today, I want to do a video for you guys because I miss making videos. Now, you all know I make videos about frauditors, but today, I want to call to light someone exploiting the law. Today, we'll be looking at the armed fisherman. The armed fisherman is a YouTuber out of Florida who does videos about fishing while being armed and exploiting Florida's open carry law, 7902.5, section 3, subsection H. I'll give into further detail in the video, but for right now, let's watch the video and enjoy. <laughs> Dude, you have no idea how many people are chicken necking right now, bro. <laughs> They're looking for us right, right there, right behind us. Where are they at? Huh? Alright, radio silence. Where are they at? They're back there. Alright, that's all. Here. There we go. Let me give you guys some clarity. Florida Law 7902.5 Section 3 Subsection H allows you to openly carry a pistol or long gun or a rifle while you are camping, hunting, or fishing, but only to and from your location. The armed fisherman exploits this law to get a reaction out of the police. Also, he has made claim to making lawsuits before and only, only that. So I don't believe he's truly standing up for anyone's rights like he says he does. So, I'll let the video keep playing, and I'll chime in when it's necessary. But let's see what this jack wagon style. Keep going, keep going, keep walking. Ignore it. Keep walking, keep walking. We're good, man. What's up with you? you guys want to Am I being detained? Okay, we're, we're being detained. Yeah? Yes, you're seeing right. The man you're seeing in the video is armed in technical gear with a long gun and a fishing pole. This is their attempt to try to circumvent that law of openly carrying. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't know many fishermen that need tactical gear. Out. You're not yeah. figuring out nothing today, I'm buddy. I don't care what your problems are, dude. Okay. Leave me alone. Please. I, know, just sure I don't. I if you want to follow me and see, figure out what I'm doing, that's your investigation. Are we being Are we being. Okay, then, then I remain silent. You have to detain us. I'm remaining silent. Don't worry about where I'm going. I know this. Let me let me speak. Let me speak. I don't want to hear you. I don't want to hear you speaking. Open carry. Okay. So why are you detaining us? Yeah. Why are you? You know what you just did? You just you just your unqualified immunity. Yeah. You're just done, dude. You're done. You know the statute. You know what we're doing. So why are you detaining us? Don't worry about where we're going. I know it's going to and returning from. So I could walk from Miami all the way to Tallahassee and you can't stop me. No, genius. They can't stop you. I called Florida Fish and Wildlife and I asked them about this specifically. I told them I was going to be going down there as a hunter. But I lived out of state and I wanted to know the rules. And they clarified some things. Yes, I am allowed to open carry while I'm down there. However, I am not allowed to open carry like that while going to another city. That violates the law. So, you can't walk from Miami to Tallahassee like that, idiot. You violate the law, and the cops have every right to stop you because you're not going to a lake or coming from a lake. It looks like you're in the city trying to walk around with a gun. So, bye. Am I being detained still? Am I being detained? Yes. Oh, okay. no, yes. I'm not. I just want come to on. You're you're don't worry about where I'm going, dude. Are if you, you want to follow me. We're not, we're not doing this, bro. Or going to fish. Don't worry, dude. I don't want... It's part of the statute, right, that we have to know... It's going to... You don't have to know anything. It's just saying... 
long as I'm going to and returning from fishing, hunting, or camping, right, so until it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Yeah, That's it does. Well, okay. okay let's say, say I was returning from fishing. We're not we're, committing a crime. We're, 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 we're the law. You've already explained that you know the law. I know. That's why. Are you so bye. To or from? Are we, we still detained? Are we still detained? Yeah, you got more of your you got more of your friggin' buddies coming. They're, they're I mean, like, trying to jam us up and say that uh, he's right there. And that uh, they're detaining us because they're not sure if we're going to or from fishing. What are you gonna fish for today? Don't worry about what I'm fishing for, you bud. Honest, well it seems from your history, besides fishing with a fight with cops, you're probably fishing for a lawsuit. And yes, they have every right to stop you. You're a group of men with AR fifteens walking around in tactical gear in a city street. I think that would be a cause of suspicion for anybody. Even myself, if I was to do something stupid like that. You're not a fish and wildlife guy, dude. You don't know nothing about fishing regulations, and you don't know nothing about my fishing license. So, kick rocks, bro. Do you have your fishing license? Don't worry, don't worry about my fishing license. Hey, uh, what's your name? What's your name? It's real convenient he forgets to mention something, but I'll fill you guys in. The law that he's trying to use to carry his guns while he fishes also states if any law enforcement agent, not just fishing game, but police, sheriff, constable, or any law enforcement officer stops you, you have to provide a valid fishing or hunting license. If not, you're in violation of that law. So. He has the right to ask you for your fishing license, man. Why not be why not be just forthcoming and cooperate? Da Davlin Mar and badge number? 48? 30. 30, thank you. I, I do. It's on me. Nope. Because <laughs> I know I've already dealt with you before. I've dealt with this whole city. Me personally, no. Yeah, this city, I've dealt yeah, with them. City, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, your city's stupid. Okay, I know. But I know. I, I you know, you, you know they're have stupid. I have, yeah, yeah. yeah. Your, your city's stupid. Okay, I know. But I know. I you know you, you know they're stupid. The I have place. it on my person. Yes, I do. Okay, I read the statute. Uh huh. We need to see it. You do you, not. I think you're misinterpreting. No, I'm not. It says possession of the fire, the and then you have to be. How do I know if you have it or not? Do you, do you understand that? Fishing license. Okay, is your name on it? Yep, on the back side of it. Yes, officer, you're correct. He does misinterpret that law. He does have to provide you his fishing license. Now, you may not be able to tell if it's valid or not, but he does have to show you. And you do have the right to call Fish and Game to have them verify it. Now, he likes to think only Fish and Game can tell him what to do. But actually, the law tells him what to do. Dude, let's well, see. The, the thing is, it says possession, not, and I have to give it to a commission officer, which you are not. So I'm not gonna play these games with you. Are we still being detained? Yeah, call him. Call him out, dude. I, are we still being detained? Yeah. So fish and wildlife. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, bring them, dude. <laughs> Hey, they're, they're sending FWC out, bro. They're cool. sending FWC. <laughs> what, what, what lawful reason do they have to do that? Uh, resource inspection. Okay. It's statute, bro. These guys can't run it. They can't do anything with our fishing license. Can I get your license? name and ID, please? Yeah. Hers 462. What was your name? Well, I, I'm sorry. Officer Martina. Martina? Montina. Montina. All right, perfect. Hey man, you looking at it? It, it looks sexy, don't it? It's, it's like, ooh wee! It's pretty nice. It is nice. What is it? AR, it's a 300 blackout. Oh yeah. I'm just waiting on the suppressor now. How long have you been waiting for? Six months. Six? Six. It's been six months? So you're about to get it. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Section three, subsection H. What we're doing is completely lawful. Now I don't know who's worse. These fraudsters? Or actual frauditors. You know, he got his ego padded because the cops were looking at his rifle. But then again, I think he just wants to flex on everybody because he's trying to overcompensate for something. Maybe he didn't get enough attention as a kid. However, from what I do know, he is breaking the law and he doesn't cooperate with a law enforcement officer asking to see his fishing license while he's trying to open the carry. Yep. Cannot detain us for lawful activity. The state versus uh, Florida versus JL. 
it was a court, a federal court case where a guy that was actually a felon with a possession of a fi firearm in the back of an Uber, the judge said, oh, this is thrown out because there was no probable cause. That's why they don't put firearms into 901-151 for the search for him, for it, him possessing that firearm until, until they ran it. I'm just, look up Florida versus JL. Florida versus JL. You can't just stop us for nothing. For a constitutional right. That you it didn't stop you for no reason. It stopped you to make sure you're, vi you're not violating the law or trying to corrupt the law. You're using your, you're using your knowledge of this statute to violate it and exploit it. The cops have every right to stop you and ask, are you going to or coming from fishing? Also, you're in a city street in tactical gear with rifles. How many shootings did we have in the last few years with similar circumstances? I think those cops were doing the right thing by stopping you to ask you those questions. You swore, you yeah, swore, uh, you swore, she swore, all y'all swore to defend this. Yes, sir. And then, and then can, am I detained? Am I detained? So you swore an oath to defend this, but I'm still detained. Can I it's stupid. Can I speak? No. I don't want to hear you speak. I have my license on yes. possession. Yeah. We cannot verify it, right? I know, absolutely. So can, right? Well, they can meet us where we're going fishing. Until they can come and verify what reasonable articulable suspicion do you have crime. that we don't have it? It doesn't matter if they think you have it or not. The reasonable articulable suspicion they had to stop you was you are a group of individuals walking around with rifles on a city street openly. Not in cases, but on your persons openly hanging. That was the reason. You made yourself look suspicious. Also, the tactical gear doesn't help. I'm telling you, I cannot verify that it's valid or not. But what reasonable not, articulable suspicion do you have to say? I'm not running away, everybody. I'm just wait, I'm waving to my truck. Hey, what's up? Yeah, buddy. Yeah. You can't just arbitrarily stop that car because you don't know if that guy has your driver's license. <laughs> you can't just do that. Open carry a gun without the fishing license. Fish without the license, right? okay. uh, that's why he's sending yeah, he's they didn't stop you to make sure you had your fishing license only they stopped you because you are openly carrying a rifle on a city sidewalk they wanted to make sure you are violating the law they didn't just stop you for no reason hey <laughs> Batista, you don't want, I don't think you want to be part of this, dog. <laughs> are we good? So where, where are you guys going to head to? Don't worry, you can, if you, wanna, if you wanna follow, us, if you wanna follow us. FWC, go meet you there. Well, they, if you want to follow us so that you can tell FWC, because I don't have to help you with your investigation. I don't have to help you at all. Okay. Am I still detained? I'm just trying to make Am I, I don't want to make conversation. You help me out, I help you out. You're not helping. You just stopped me, bro. You're not helping. How are you helping me? Violating your rights would be taking the gun away from you. Yeah, good luck. Detainment is violation of rights. Yeah. That's what I mean. That would be That's violating my... your rights. Illegal detainment. You can't pull over anyone because... Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Look at these guys. It's not an unlawful or an un or illegal detainment. It's a legal detainment. You're carrying guns on a sidewalk. You claim you're fishing. You showed them your fishing license, but they can't verify it's valid. They asked you to tell them where you're going so they can have Florida Fish and Wildlife meet you there and check your license. But you don't want to cooperate. All you want to do is yell at the cops and show off for your friends and to get clicks and views for your YouTube channel, which, by the way, I don't think you're doing anything to help the Second Amendment or the First Amendment. All you're doing is hurting it. All bunch of knuckleheads. Yeah, fuck these guys. <laughs> okay. Oh, look, look who it is. I know this guy. Hey, nice to see you again. Remember me? You don't, you don't remember me? Of course not. For right now, you guys are good to go. We'll have All right, to see you later. Go have go a good day. No hey, we're no longer detained. No longer detained. No longer detained. No longer detained. No longer detained.
Can I get the call number? Yeah, incident report? I need the incident number, yeah. And I think I did meet you. You know who I am. Remember the last time that you met somebody carrying a gun like this? You weren't that? No, all right. What? We look alike. We look alike, but no. All right, everybody. We're going to we're gonna end the video here today. As you can clearly see, these guys do not care about the law. They just wanted to flex and show off. If they did, they would have cooperated with the law enforcement officers and told them where they were going or if they were coming to. Or coming from, I should say. I'm sorry. But, as you know, with all frauditors, they'll find any way they can to skirt the law or make it all about them and their rights. Well, if you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment or a thumbs up. It helps me with the algorithm. Also, I'm going to be linking my Twitter and my PayPal down there in the, bio, in the description box. On Twitter, you can send me videos or just talk to me and follow me for updates. Also, PayPal, I take donations. You don't have to give me anything, but if you want to, anything does help. You can also get a hold of me on email from the About Me page and the new Discord page. I have it set up. So if you want to follow me there, you can follow me there for updates and when I'm going to drop new videos or just to say hi. Well, guys, I'm going to go rest my voice so I can come back next week and hopefully I can have a better video for you guys. I'll see you all next time. I hope you all have a great day.